Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you Arrow Infographic Timeline Slides uh, with 5 years and 4 years. I've created two different slides. So let's see the first slide. When I click, it will show you the arrow and then it, the borders appear. And when I click, it will show you the year 2016 with the details. Then 2017, 2018, 19 and 20 this is for the five years and when I click it will show you for four years 2017 and text 2018 text 2019 and the last 2020 so let's see how to create this beautiful template in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under lines select the freeform shape and draw a zigzag arrow which is a small first then I'll make somewhat big then some more big and double click to end this one so you end up uh, getting this shape now we'll go to the settings uh, or the properties uh, right mouse click go to format shape under effects you can go to 3d rotation 3d rotation you can see a depth depth increase the depth but generally you don't feel any difference here so that first you need to go to 3d rotation under 3d rotation you can select any preset for example i'm just going to select this preset which is off axis one left now you can see here the depth now I'm going to increase the depth and it's up to you to decide how much depth you need based on your requirement you can see here now maybe I want this much and then I can increase the size also let me just increase further and if you need this to be a curved you can right mouse click and you can just say edit points and then any points you select the first point here right mouse click and i'll say smooth point so it becomes a curved shape or if you want uh, to be uh, a straight line you can just keep it straight line also let me just make this also a curved one there's a smooth and this also i'll just make it a smooth point and for this also you can make a smooth point at the bottom all right and let me just increase the width further so i make it maybe 85 and zoom out and you can increase the size further all right now it's up to you to change the the appearance or the uh, from where it should start for example i can just say that okay i can rotate it see i want like this or i can make it something like this i need you know so that this is uh, i'll just put this is uh, the ears here again this is too much height i will just reduce the height right mouse click edit points and i'm just let me just increase some more yeah so you see here i just change the direction of that one you can play with this one x y and z rotations or whichever example you need further you can do like this or so let it be with this one and I'm just going to change the color to this and again if you want to change further color you can just go to the material and lighting for example I'll just select maybe this much so I will not see any effect here so I'm going to select this and maybe if I select this I will get whatever so it's the spiral looks like now 
so I don't want that so I want something like this that will be okay for us so our basic design is almost ready now if you want to give any gap again you can just right mouse click and just say edit points and you can just move a little bit like this so you have to adjust this uh, unless and until you are satisfied with the the arrow design now i'm okay i'm with this one so i'm just going to add a arrow head here for that i'll just go select a triangle i'll just select the triangle align it properly shape outline make it no outline and I'm going to give the color the same color which is I'll just select this color so you can see here my arrow head is also ready now now it's time to give some shadow effects for that let me just zoom back to the normal slide size I'll go to insert shapes and select a oval shape draw the oval shape and give a gradient fill I'll delete all the points I just need only two stops so one will be black and other will be white and this I'll change the change the type from linear to radial and I will select from center I will select this white stop and transparency make it fully hundred percent shape outline make it no outline and this also you can increase a transparency level a little bit and then you can go to effects you can go to soft edges and increase the size so you end up with this shape then you can put the shape here and just send to back control D one more shape here this also you can either say send to back or you can keep it there itself let me just send this to back so let's send all this to back only all right there's a much uh, you can just increase the and then i will just increase the transparency effect more so that i think this looks perfect for me if i just go to the format painter i'll just paint it for this also same right so now we have uh, done the shadow effect now it's time to add the text to add the text you can just go to insert and text box i will just say say 2017 maybe 18 19 and 20 three years and i will select the font called century gothic if you want you can make it bold also center aligned and this is 2017 you can increase the font size a little bit then this is 2018 2019 and this is 2020 so let me just change now And if you want to change the add more details, you can just go to add insert. You can add some more text here. All right. And if you want to change the appearance again, you can just go to the text options here and then effects and go below 
and you can select maybe this one off axis a little bit it's tilt so even this also you can change a little bit the same okay or only for the text is enough I believe and then you can add your the title here to add the title I'm just going to use a rounded corner rectangle this also I'm just going to go to text effects or just the normal shape effects and I'll select the same thing here copy this control G group control D duplicate so you can add your text for 2018 2019 because here we don't have space I'm just going to add the text here and make it no rotation so you can add your text here and if you want to give some borders also you can give for example if I want to give some uh, orange border so I'm just going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate and I will reduce the width of this which is we have made it almost 85 I'm going to reduce it to maybe 5 or 6 maybe uh, 10 then I'll just give the shape outline as a orange color here and then simply you can place it you can see here and arrowhead select the arrowhead and just bring to front so you got the the border also if you want you can place the border the other side also and now it's time to do the animation I'm going to close the format background I'll go to animations enable the animation pane I will select first the our zigzag arrow and I'll just say a wipe wipe it should start from left and this is very fast I can make it slower maybe I can just select medium so it comes like this and then the arrowhead should come that also I'm going to give wipe and this should happen with previous but I'll just increase the delay so if I play again it comes and then it uh, arrowhead if I want I can further delay a little bit okay and once this is done I want the shadows to appear I will just select all the shadows and I will say fade and this should happen again with previous but it should be happening with a, a delay here so I'm just first of all I'm just going to make it no delay for all only 0.25 then second I will increase to 50 then I will increase to maybe 75 1 let's see how it looks So I have to just delay a little bit more all right so if I play again yeah this is perfect and likewise I'll just select the other our uh, border that also I'm just going to give a wipe which is from left and this should happen after previous once okay so let's see here now and this is very fast again I'll make it medium
you can see here slowly it comes so uh, the animation for the arrow is done it's time to do the animation for the text so i'll just select the text first 2017 i will say fly in fly in it should come maybe from bottom or top i'll just say this should come from top and this text should come from bottom i'll just say fly in so if you see here this one should be after previous now if I play, yeah, so you can see the first text comes from the down and then the title comes there. So I'm just going to copy using animation painter, first select the year and then the, the title. I'll select year again for 2019 and the title. Sorry. And then 2020 and the title. So let's see how it looks uh, into in the slideshow. So when I click, it will show you the arrow first, then the borders, and then when I click, it will show you 2017, 2018. 2019 and 2020 so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.